Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Electric Bike Journal. We are back for our second day at the Sea Otter Classic. Plenty more to see today. We're gonna cruise around, check out new bikes like this. So stay tuned, find out all about it. Hey guys, welcome. This is Ian with RE Bikes, here to talk about some of our newest additions in the E lineup. We've got uh, the Explorer Peak here, our mid-drive E fat bike, opening up with the EP801 spec and uh, running with a nice big battery. So really getting something that's quite utilitarian and bringing some of that type one fun to the type two that is fat biking. And newly released here, we have the, the Bonneville. That is equipped with the Fazua Ride 60 system. So we're able to run this with a very efficient motor, a nice svelte thin frame, and really taking some of the speed and fun that's come into our road lineup and apply that to our e-bike lineup. We've been very excited to work with Fazua on this project. Hey, this is Will from Microshift, and we're here at Sea Otter, and we are showing off our Sword Gravel Group. We have a 2x10 setup, and then we have the 1x10 setup over there. Uh, the 2x10 comes with a 17 tooth difference in the chain ring, so we have a 4831 and a 4629 chain ring setup, so you got those low lows and those high highs. And then we also have an 11 to 38 cassette, which people have been really liking. So everything is Admin X compatible, so our old Admin X shifter had a externally rotted cable. Now everything is under the bar tape to keep a nice clean look people in after it and then we have a new hood style so it's nice and comfortable uh, for the rider you can also run full cable housing all the way to the front derailleur this bike isn't showing it off yet but there is a barrel adjuster built in so you don't need inline cable adjustments what's up my name is michael with bikeflights.com or a worldwide bicycle shipping service and a retailer of bike boxes uh, through our service you can ship your e-bike domestically in the u.s via ground service Hey everybody, Ian Strakel from Ortlieb USA here. I'm going to talk to you today about some of our great products. We've got the new Quick Rack here and Quick Rack Lite. These are full featured bike racks, 44 pound capacity, but they have a trick up their sleeve. They are a quick release carrier. So say you have one gravel bike, you want to do some bike packing adventures, um, or one e-bike and you want to take it to store mode, you can throw the rack on there quickly and remove it when you don't want it on the bike. So I'll demonstrate how to do that now. You remove the cam here from the seat post, you loosen these two levers, and then it's off. Just that easy. Yep. So $110 is the retail price on this guy. The Quick Rack Lite is $100 and it's light because it has less material. There's nothing on the deck. These are compatible with our traditional QL 2.1 system. They also come with these QL 3.1 mounts and it works perfectly with our Gravel Pack 3.1. So the way this works is you locate the lower anchoring point, move this to the body of the rack and then just arc it forward and it's on. The removal is just as easy. You lift this little wire, arc it, and it's off. And if you're counting grams, I did a little bit of looking in the workbook. This pair of panniers and this rack is our lightest weight combination. It's coming in at about 1,160 grams. So under a couple pounds. Pretty darn light for a full setup. I'm Nate Butler. We're with uh, Peak Design here at Sea Otter Mountain Bike Classic. Uh, if you are familiar with us, it's probably from Camera Gear or Carry. Uh, but a few years ago, we launched our mobile line, which is all centered around our SlimLink mounting hardware. The way that that works is it's got an array of magnets that provide a soft lock for home and office use. And then it's got this, we call it the Squirkle, uh, ceramic zirconia insert that provides a mechanical lock. So out on your bike where you need it to be a lot more secure, clips in just like that. It's on there. It's not going anywhere. And there's just one button on the other side, pull it off. Hi, I'm Thor with Routeworks. Uh, we're a Rhode Island-based company. We make the handlebar bag. So our biggest thing is giving you back handlebar space and access to everything you need on your ride while you're going. And then we have this fantastic dashboard that allows you to attach 
any of your technology right to the lid, keeping all your information right in front of you. And then these great accessory mounts here for your lights and bells. Uh, really about taking this bag and making it for your adventure. And then when you are done with your adventure, take it right off. This is our patented hard mount. This is your long ride. And this is our short ride, out front mount. Quick change, whether you're going out for that long ride, short ride, fast ride, whatever it is, we've got a product for you. Thanks. I'm Darren Snyder with Saris Equipment, here to share, talk about our new uh, MHS Duo ramp. So we launched the Duo last year. It holds e-bikes or any bike up to 80 pounds per tray. Um, this year we've added a wheel tray and the unique thing about this is it'll telescope out to a greater length to lessen the angle of approach to getting your bike on the rack, which makes rolling the bike on the rack a lot easier. This retails for $189. Um, in addition, we've come out with a lighting accessory kit for $89 that has a four pin connection, um, it has uh, brake lights and turn signals. A lot of the dual arm carriers rely on both arms working against one another, where this helps locate the front wheel and take a lot of the stress of when the bikes are going back and forth, prevents the arm from having to do the work on both sides. Thanks for joining us for day two at the Sea Otter Classic. A lot of great things that we saw today. Still have more left tomorrow, so stay tuned. Check out the next video or yesterday's video. We'll see you in the next one.